Hello, in this video, we are solving second example to find the response of district time LTI system using Z transform. And example is determine the response of district time LTI governed by following difference equation y of n is equal to minus 0.5 u y of n minus 1 plus x of n when the input is unit step signal. Now, if you observe the previous video, to find the response of LTI system example 1, within that we have taken same difference equation, same in input, only difference is here y of minus 1 is not given. Means here initial conditions are 0. When there is a no y of minus 1, y of minus 2 terms are given, that means initial conditions are not given. Means we have to assume that initial conditions are 0 here and input x of n is given unit step. So, when there are initial conditions are not there, check the Z transform. Y of N, its Z transform is Y of Z. Y of N minus 1. Whenever there are initial conditions, we are taking Y of minus 1 plus Z raised to minus 1 Y of Z. Now, this Y of minus 1 is not here. It is 0. That's why your z transform becomes y of n minus 1 is equal to z raised to minus 1 y of z. n minus 1 that is z raised to minus 1 y of z. Let us solve. Our difference equation is given. Input u of n. Unit step means input is u of n. Now solve this difference equation. For that you have to apply z transform. Z transform of y of n, Z transform of this term minus 0.5u y of n minus 1 plus Z transform of x of n. Z transform of y of n is y of z. Remember Z transform we are representing by capital letter. Then minus 0.5u we are taking outside Z transform of y of n minus 1 plus Z transform of x of n is x of z. Now Z transform of Y of N minus 1. Generally, whenever there are initial conditions, it is Y of minus 1 plus Z raised to minus 1 Y of Z. But now here no initial condition is given. That means this term is 0. That is why Z transform of Y of N minus 1 is Z raised to minus 1 Y of Z. So, let us do it. Z transform of this one is Z raised to minus 1 Y of Z plus x of z. Now x of z we know. How? Because x of n is given, it is u of n and we know the z transform of u of n is z upon z minus 1. Let us put it minus 0.5 u z raised to minus 1 y of z and x of z is z upon z minus 1. Now combine the y of z terms. Take this term to the left side so that we can take y of z common. Take the this term we have taken left side this term as it is z upon z minus 1. Now take y of z common 1 plus so here we have taken 0.5 z raised to minus 1 we are writing into the denominator 0.5 upon z. Now take y of z common 1 plus 0.5 upon z is equal to z upon z plus z minus 1. Now solve this. We will get z plus 0.5 u by z y of z is equal to z upon z minus 1. Now we want to find y of n. So take this term to the RHS and you will get y of z is equal to z upon z minus 1 z square upon z minus 1 z plus 0.5. Now this we have to solve. We have to solve means what? We want to find y of n. So, we have to take the inverse Z transform of this term. For inverse Z transform, we need to apply partial fraction method. Always partial fraction method, we are applying in case of Z transform only, Y of Z upon Z. So, 1 Z we need to take to the left side. So, Y of Z upon Z is equal to Z upon Z minus 1, Z plus 0.5. At this stage, we can apply partial fraction. It becomes A upon Z minus 1 plus B upon Z plus 0.5. Find the A. 
is this y of z upon z into denominator is z minus 1 for z is equal to 1. Now y of z upon z is z upon z minus 1 into z plus 0 0.5. This is our y of z upon z into z minus 1. z minus 1, z minus 1 get cancelled and z is equal to 1 you have to put here. You will get 1 upon 1.5 that we can write as a 2 by 3. Similarly b y of z upon z this term into denominator is z plus 0.5u at z is equal to minus 0.5. So y of z upon z term. Now this z plus 0.5u, z plus 0.5u get cancelled and you have to put z is equal to minus 0.5u here and here and you will get 1 by 3. So a is 2 by 3, b is 1 by 3. Let's put it here. So y of z upon z is equal to a is 2 by 3, b is 1 by 3. Now this z we can take to the RHS. y of z is equal to 2 by 3 z upon z minus 1 plus 1 by 3 z, up, z upon z plus 0.5. Now here to find y of n you have to apply inverse z transform. When you are applying inverse z transform you know that a raised to n u of n its z transform is z upon z minus a mod z greater than a. So for z upon z minus a inverse is a raised to n u of n. Here z upon z minus a, a is 1. So inverse is 2 by 3, 1 raised to a raised to n u of n plus z upon z minus minus 0.5. Then only we can write z plus 0.5. So z minus minus 0.5 means a is minus 0.5. So a raised to n is minus 0.5 raised to n. This 1 by 3 as it is into u of n. Inverse of y of z is y of n. So y of n is 2 by 3 1 raised to n u of n plus 1 by 3 minus 5 raised to n u of n. This is the response of the strict time algebra system. Only change in this example is here initial conditions are not given. If it is not given, assume it 0. Thank you.